Welcome to the next video in our guide on how to start selling online with WooCommerce. My name is Cal Evans. I'm a WordPress and PHP expert. And in this video, we'll learn about how you can start driving traffic to your new WooCommerce store. Before we start, just a quick reminder that you can download the PDF guide at the URL given in the description of this video. In it, you'll find a more detailed explanation on this topic, as well as all of the rest of the steps necessary to start selling online. Everybody in web development loves to misquote the movie Field of Dreams and tell people just because you build it doesn't mean they will come. Now, this is true, but they leave out the fact that if you've built something truly useful, as word gets out, people will start coming. If you have the time to let your idea grow organically, you probably don't need the advice in this chapter. But for everybody else, here's what I've learned working on my own products and working with clients to help them drive traffic to their online stores and general sales. The fastest way to build traffic to your site is to pay for it through ads and sponsored content. Search engine marketing is an industry term that means buying ads in search engine results. Now we've all gotten used to the fact that the first one to three responses on most search engine pages are paid ads. They may be relevant, but they're at the top because they paid to be there. If you want to know how you can get started with Google ads, watch our video, Google search and display. We've added a link to it in the description below. Social ads are just that, ads you buy on a social media network, whether that's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or your favorite social media site. Almost all of them sell ads. There is no need to advertise on all of them though. Find out which social media network your potential audience hangs out on and start there. Sponsored ads are for smaller communities that you're targeting. If your target community has an active forum and you buy an ad on this forum, that's a sponsored ad. Sponsored ads can also be in the form of content, such as articles or audio. For example, you can pay specific bloggers or magazines whose content relates to yours to write an article on their site in which your business or product is mentioned. Alternately, if there's a podcast that is reaching your target audience, buying a sponsorship for that podcast is a sponsored ad. The other main way to drive traffic to your site is search engine optimization. That's the practice of using online tools to figure out what content your audience is looking for and then creating content around those topics. This way, when your audience goes searching, they find you. There are several aspects you need to work on to get good SEO results. First, learn to create relevant content. Any content from your site, no matter if it's a blog post, a product description, or a landing page, should be relevant to your audience. Second, work on your technical SEO. Outside of relevant content, the search engines have told us that technical SEO is absolutely affects your rankings. There are three key aspects to technical SEO that you should focus on. Install an SSL certificate. Websites that do not run on HTTPS are flagged as insecure and most search engines will not even consider them for ranking these days. Have a responsive design to adapt your websites to mobile devices. You can review our video on how to make your website mobile friendly to better understand the steps to do this. Your website speed is an official ranking factor as it directly relates to your user experience. You should keep your site optimized, starting by choosing a fast web host like SiteGround. Of course, there's a lot more to SEO that you can do. If you're interested, check out our SiteGround SEO YouTube playlist listed in the description below. Earned traffic is traffic that comes to your website without you having to pay for it directly. 
If you post an interesting blog post on LinkedIn and people click through to see what else you have, or they share it because they liked it, that's earned traffic. Now, in the long run, earned traffic can be more expensive than paid traffic because it takes a lot of your time to build a following to the point where they will engage with you and visit your website. Still, everybody feels that earned traffic equals free traffic because you aren't paying for it with cash. The last group of traffic is the most valuable, owned traffic. Owned traffic is the traffic you drive to your website from your in-house mailing list. You own your mailing list and you control how often you talk to them and what you say. That's why we call it owned traffic. You own that list. Nobody can take it away from you. Every other type of traffic that we've discussed so far has been people that you're trying to attract to your product or your services. Your mailing list is full of people who have already self-identified as being interested. When someone signs up for your mailing list, they have permitted you to engage with them. They are interested in your product and your content. They are a lover of baby blue widgets, so talk to them about it. For more information on how you can build your email list, check out our video, Email Funnels, a Primer. You can find a link to that video in the description below. Look, traffic is important to your business. We've talked about four types, paid, organic, earned, and owned. Most smart marketers use the first three to build that fourth. There are business owners that won't even start marketing to people until after they're on their mailing list. The real value of paid and earned traffic is to build your mailing list. Once they're on your mailing list, you can start talking to them, help them solve problems, and show them how your products or services will make their life better. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on the subscribe button on your screen to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon also so that YouTube notifies you every time we release a new video. Finally, Follow us on social media to stay updated about all the news, trending comments, and resources for successful website management that we share.